Beauty is interpreted in many ways. Some are all about body positivity. Some are about stepping out their comfort zone and some even creating their own fear and stepping out of it. Well, guess what? We're all about inspiring every woman out there. I'm Shamisa, Beauty Beyond, inspiring and celebrating Malaysian women. Beauty Beyond is a program that is dedicated to celebrate all our Malaysian women icons. Well, guess what? While they're doing so, they keep inspiring us and they're showing us nothing is impossible. Well, I'm thrilled and excited to introduce a lady who is fearless, bold, fun, Determined, and she's the first Malaysian and Asian woman to travel solo on a motorbike around the world. She is Juan Anita Yusuf. I'm already at Ka Anita's place and I'm so excited to meet the lady behind all this adventure. And here she is, Ka Anita! Hi! Hello! You're a woman with so many talent. You're so adventurous. You have written a book before. You're a mother of two sons. And the list just goes on. You have so many awards as well. Traveling solo around the world. How did you even embark in this journey? I was a backpacker. I've been to many countries and most of the time I did it solo. But in 2012, I faced a very serious relationship conflict and at that time I thought that I felt that my world seemed to be turning upside down. So I'm thinking, okay, I must find a new thrill in my life or else I'll go crazy. And being a backpacker, I want to see uh, the, the blue lakes, the green colored rivers. So uh, I contacted this cyclist and I asked him, I need to know about the public transport. He told me that Kyrgyzstan is an underdeveloped country. In order to visit the places he went to, I must have my own transport. So he suggested that I ride a motorbike. I didn't even know how to ride a motorbike at that time. So the cyclist himself told you to take a motorbike and you don't even know how to ride a motorbike. Yes, but I took the challenge and I picked up riding just because I want to go to Kyrgyzstan and visit the places he went to. Why specifically that country because I uh, when I read his blog and I uh, look at the pictures he shared in his blog it was so wow so beautiful yeah, mesmerized by <laughs> yes country. exactly so um, after that I uh, pick up riding and very soon I got very addicted into riding I went to the neighboring countries first I went to Thailand I rode solo to Indochina and one year after I learned how to ride a motorbike I went to Kyrgyzstan and other um, Central Asian countries and it was a hell of a ride because I was pretty much a newbie at that time. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it was very, very challenging but I came back uh, safe and sound and I, uh, even though it's hard but it gave me confidence and I started to dream big and after that I planned for my world ride. Yeah, so after that, um, yeah, I came back to Malaysia. It, it was hard, it was not easy what I'm doing but I managed to overcome all the obstacles and came back with the title of the first Muslim woman who rode solo around the world on a motorbike. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're just so much filled with energy even when you're explaining and the rides that you've been through and the journey and I'm just putting myself in your place and I was like... All right, Shamista, you know, I just, just, <laughs> just breathe there for a moment, you know, because uh -huh. there's a lot of plays. It took, how long did it take you for all uh, these rides? Uh, for my first world ride, it took me 370 days and I managed to uh, do a distance of uh, 65,369 kilometers. Wow. Yeah, which uh, enabled me to be included in Malaysia Book of Records and Asia Book of Records. So in December 2019, I left the country again 
Uh, this time to do my second world ride and the aim is to cover se all seven continents of the world. Uh, however, I only managed to ride to 14 countries in the African continent. I managed to do 22,000 kilometers and then COVID hits the world. So my ride was forced to stop and I was stranded in uh, Tanzania for 13 months. Oh my gosh, 13 yeah. months. Yes, what were yes. you even doing that then? Uh, during that 13 months, I, I must admit that I'm quite depressed because of the uncertainties, all the borders are closed, I cannot continue riding, but I managed to come out with a book. <laughs> I spent the time writing, all done online. My son in Malaysia helped me with the printing, uh, with, uh, with the sales, everything. That's wonderful, yeah. isn't it? That's 13 months, instead of five months of hibernation, it turned out to be 13 months. Mm. So I'm curious as well, yeah, when women want to be like you, adventurous like uh -huh. you, what's your best advice for them? How do they get into this, first of all? Okay, um, well, first of course, they must learn how to ride a motorbike. So um, this one is easy, actually, because uh, they can always find someone to teach them how to ride or just enroll at a driving school and then get a riding license. However, to start an adventure of your lifetime on a motorcycle, this is totally another story because you need to be fully prepared physically, mentally and emotionally. If you are not prepared, then it's going to be a disaster. A tough uh, rider. Yes, especially for a solo female rider, it's tough and risky. I always believe that if you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. bike while you're riding? Yes, of course. <laughs> Many times? Um, yeah, quite a number of times, but normally I'll fell off my bike when riding on off-road. I'm not good riding off-road. Very rocky, is it? Uh, whether it's rocky or muddy or sandy. So, yeah, I'll drop my bike. So that's the thing is, you know, when you drop your bike in the middle of nowhere and no one to help you to lift up the bike, then how? Yeah. <laughs> so that's why all this thing for a solo female rider, you you must think, what, what's your plan? What, what are you going to do if this thing happens to you? The truth is when you get older, your stamina decreases. This is very normal. So that's why I told you that I have lots of disadvantages when doing this right. But because of my stubbornness, I overcome all the obstacles. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So who's your hero? Okay, my idol in adventure riding is um, Tiffany Coates. She's from UK. She's like me also, she's an adventure rider. She's, uh, she has been around the world many times, uh, most of the time solo. So I was afraid, but Tiffany encouraged me. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad that I listened to Tiffany's advice. When I reached UK, Tiffany uh, hosted me at her place in Lens End. And later in 2019, Tiffany came to Malaysia to visit me. So in total, we have met four times in three different continents. Wow, Kanita, I saw Thank you very much. So, Anita, I've got a surprise question for you. Oh, what's that? <laughs> I don't like surprises. <laughs> I was waiting for this very what do you say? <laughs> okay, very easy. What does Beauty Beyond means to you? Beauty Beyond is... Beauty Beyond to me means when you break stereotypes, when you do something which is rare, when, well, as a female, what I'm doing is something rare. To me, that is beautiful. And you keep inspiring all of us, and you're doing wonderful in that. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Next up, we have something interesting. Oh, we're gonna go for a ride. I don't know if I should be really excited, but we're gonna go for a ride.
all this while, I have no idea that I have the ability to do something which is I've never done before. When I found the peace of mind, and most importantly, when I shared my story, people found it inspiring. My story encouraged them to fight their fear, step out of their comfort zone, and shape their life the way which suited them. That was the moment I realized I had made a difference. This is how I shape my world. I am quite excited to go on for the ride and also nervous because the last I went on a motorbike was when I was five. Oh, that I was, was like, ages yeah. ago. <laughs> it has been, but I'm excited. I know you're there as well. <laughs> so, you know, instead of you going around with other vehicles when you're traveling around the world, why did you even opt for motorbike? First of all, riding a motorbike is exciting. And sexy. Yes, you can feel the adrenaline rush as you twist the throttle. You, you're mm. doing it and I you can feel, feel the, the, the wind gushing. Just like yeah. the wind now gushing through our hands. <laughs> yes. And then another reason, um, I am in control of my movement. I can uh, choose when I want to start, when I want to stop. And if I see beautiful views, I can stop, take pictures, take videos. You see, it's a total freedom. And then also, a fully loaded motorbike normally will attract locals' attention. Uh, what I mean is, um, when I stop by the roadside, if I need to ask a passersby if I lost my way, then they will ask me, hey, where are you from? Where are you going? Oh, hey, beautiful lady, where are you from? Tell yeah. me. <laughs> so, and then when I say that I'm going around the world, and then they will say, what? Are you kidding? You are alone? And if I'm lucky, they will invite me to their house. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a nice experience because I get to interact more with the local people. I get to see their way of life understanding their culture and tradition and many more and also it's a cheaper mode of transportation when I ride a motorbike it consumes less fuel so less money spent and yeah yeah and you don't have to pay tolls in most countries are we ready for our ride yes but 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 I am a solo rider I can't take you I have a friend who can take you for a ride are you ready yes I am okay, let's go, let's go. Fun for me. Bye. Hey. Oh my God. <laughs> that was so fun. But I was nervous initially. You know? I was like, okay, I'm on the bike. You know, after 20 years, 25 years. Uh, I, I like, can imagine. Oh. You know what? I love the fact that when the wind was gushing through my head, that's what I felt you. I'm sure you have many memorable moments, isn't it? Which is your favorite and the most memorable one for you? The best, I think, is meeting people because I met people from all walks of life, different um, skin color, different language, different religion. You're such a bold lady. Any word of wisdom for the young women like us? Um, would you agree if I said that women and problems is like um, irama dan lagu tak dapat dipisahkan because we have so many concerns. I do. I do agree. <laughs> because to all ladies out there, if you face relationship problem or um, you have a broken marriage, relax. It's not the end of the world. And remember that there will surely be a light at the end of the tunnel. And life is full of adventures. Yes, it? yes. Oh, it's such a fun <laughs> moment. You know, I have really had a wonderful, wonderful day. Mm -hmm. We're coming to the end of our segment and I've got a rapid fire question. It's just a little bit fun time. Fun time, fun time. You ready? Oh, suspense. Okay. <laughs> what is backpacking or riding a bike? Hmm. 
mean, definitely riding a bike. <laughs> Favorite place to go? Ah, this is hard. Um, I've got a few places which I really love, um, such as Kyrgyzstan. I've been there three times, and I will repeat it anytime. And also, I love Peru because Peru has Andes Mountain, and Peru has uh, Atacama Desert and Pacific Ocean. Do you have coffee? Uh, coffee. Oh. Okay. Favorite color? Uh, purple. Favorite motorbike? Whew. For sure, no doubt, adventure motorbike. Well, you gotta say this, yes or no for motorbike racing? No, I'm not into speed. Yeah, because I'm a tourer, you see, I want to enjoy the view. How would I enjoy the view if I'm speeding on the road? Indeed, so you enjoy, while enjoying, you stay safe as well. Yes. How lovely, it's been such a fun, fun session, and I truly enjoyed my day with you. You know, thank you for Me being too. such a bold woman and such and inspiring. And I hope you will consider riding one day. Be I a will, lady biker. I will. I still enjoy. I still can feel the air gushing through my hair, you know, and I just love the fact. And because of you, I had the experience. Thank you. Uh, you're most welcome. That was so fun little adventure that we had. You know what? Stay tuned because we have a next segment coming up and that's going to be interesting. desire for a glowing, beautiful, radiant skin. But most of the time, how do we achieve that? We tend to get the products over the counter. But why don't we opt for a natural ingredient product which is just made right from home? You got this! You got this! You got this! You got this! I'm going to share with you exactly how to do this natural ingredient usage for your makeup skincare product. Well, guess what ladies? We're going to do blusher and loose powder. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do with all the ingredients that are available in your kitchen. What we're gonna do with these two ingredients will be the blusher that gives you the radiant glow that every girl dreams of. So we're gonna start with that. For that, we'll have one teaspoon of corn flour. Don't need to be exactly full, just put that. And next up, your rose petal powder. Mmm, smells good. <laughs> it does. It's not a strong scent at all. So just have to add a little bit, okay. You can now stir. You stir them till you get no corn flour, so you have the color of your base. So the corn flour is your base itself, and the rose color is going to be the blusher color that you want to add. Isn't it wonderful that we have so many ingredients right at our kitchen, and there are so many benefits to our health and also skin. So now we're going to try on this on our skin and take a brush, a clean brush, of course. And I'm going to show you exactly how it's going to look on my hand. Okay, so this is how you see the color is. If you want it to be more intense, you don't want it to be lighter, well, all you got to do is just add on a little bit more the rose petal powder. So you add that and you get the color intensity be a bit more darker. Make sure you stir them well. All right, now let's try on. So this is the first sample. Now dip on the brush. All right, I got the base here. There you go, can you see the difference? The difference would be more on this is a lighter one and this is the darker shade. Now it's gonna be the exciting part where you get apply on your face. Okay, I have the blusher on. Get your mirror, cause we're gonna try it. Can you see the difference? It's so lovely, isn't it? And the best part of it is certainly it is no chemical in it and you make it right from your home with this easy ingredients of corn flour and rose petal powder. Next up, we have loose powder for you ladies. The best part of this is it can adapt and adjust it according to your skin tone. All you need is corn flour. 
and we have multani mitti multani mitti this you can get it from any indian store basically what it means multani is from a place in india and uh, also it's known as fullers so you can google about murit fullers it and next up we have the cocoa powder So what you got to do is take one spoonful of corn flour and the multani bitti go with two spoons all right and cocoa powder basically the cocoa powder is what it's going to be adjusted according to your skin tone so you can put quarter or whatever it is so you when you stop mixing it and that's when you will know exactly is that according to your skin tone so keep stirring keep mixing till you get them all right It's pretty amazing to know that all these ingredients has so many benefits in it and it's right in your kitchen and we were not aware about it. <laughs> anyway, let's do check out since we already stir that the color of the mixture. You see? Here I can see it's all according to my skin tone. It's lighter. So when it's lighter, it's not going to be exactly what I need. So what I need to do is add on more cocoa. So I'm going to add a little bit more extra. It's fun. If you have any kids around as well, ask them to do it for you. You don't need to mix them up. It's a fun activity, isn't it? And it's chemical free and also it saves your pocket. Okay. Now we got the darker version. So I'm going to do it. Let's see the difference. There you go. A huge difference on the color. All you got to do is just add cocoa powder according to the skin tone that you want it. Sadly, we have come to the end of our show, but I truly hope you are inspired to start your dream because it's never too late. You got it and you can do it. Signing off with a powerful quote from Katherine Johnson, who was the first African American NASA scientist. Girls are capable of doing everything men are capable of doing. Sometimes they have more imagination. Hey!